cyclone Alcide has intensified markedly over the nighttime hours and this morning has winds of 115 miles per hour at a pressure of 965 millibars, a category 3 on the Sappho Simpson scale at 6am Mauritius time November the 8th. It's at 11.2 degrees south, 54.6 degrees east and is a stage 3 on the CDPS scale, high end stage 3 at that. Significant damage potential, but it does remain far away from land areas. At this time, it's 243 miles from the Farquhar Island group in the Seychelles, 322 from Trumlin in uh, part of Mauritius, 367 from Antisiranana in Madagascar, 387 from Antalaha, just a bit further down the coast, and 646 from Port Louis uh, in Mauritius. No warnings are in effect for any areas at this moment in time and indeed no warnings are expected to come into force because we expect the storm will either stall over the next few days over the weekend as it moves further south or do a looping um, maneuver uh, in the open waters there. You'll see it here on this loop here from the GFS model run. You can see it continuing towards the south then to the east then eventually you'll see it go north and then northwest probably weakening by this stage from whatever its peak intensity is going to be. We don't expect much more strengthening, but you never know. And then eventually moving off towards the north, looks like north-northwest according to the GFS there, into early next week, and then looks like the remnants of the system will move over the southernmost outer islands of the Seychelles. Sea surface temperatures for this storm right now are around 27 degrees Celsius, maybe slightly less as the storm moves further south. Another thing that's going to go just a little bit against Alcide as it moves further down there. Um, obviously wind shear is high the further south the storm goes as well. And dry air is coming in from the west which will also dampen the storm a little bit um, as it continues on its uh, meander around the southwest Indian Ocean. You can see they're losing tropical storm force winds as early as Sunday according to the GFS and then continuing again towards the northwest. Only tropical depression conditions at worst for the Seychelles we'd expect probably not even a tropical depression by then as it reaches land but given how the storm has already surprised us a little bit 60% chance we're giving it for tropical storm force winds on Farquhar Island um, now that might, might be a little bit high but we are being a bit cautious because the storm is not particularly far away from those islands and because it has intensified further than we first thought at category 3 intensity already. This is what all the models are saying on the ensemble runs. You can see how unlikely it is for the storm to reach Mauritius or Reunion and indeed for Madagascar now the chance is going down again there. It looks like it's going to do a loop and then move off towards the northwest and eventually curve further towards the west. If it did happen to make it as anything, um, it would end up reaching the coast of Tanzania in about five or six days' time. It probably won't be an entity of any description by then. You can see how small it is on the satellite imagery. This is the latest, the last 12-hour loop or so here. And you can see how the storm has been progressing. An excellent eye that started to appear up to 15 degrees Celsius, that eye, which uh, people who are in the know would know that 15 Celsius is pretty warm for an eye temperature and very deep cloud tops, especially to the north, but they have been uh, dropping out a little bit on some sides of the storm, so the structure is not completely there yet, but it's enough to warrant Category 3 status. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. All of our Southwest Indian Ocean updates this season are in conjunction with our partners, Mateo Acyclo Maurice. You can find them on Facebook and through the link in the description.